Hello. <coughs> My little brewski this week is Mad Town Nut Brown from the Gothic, from the Bad Day, the, 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 the Ale Asylum from uh, Madison. I'll remember that someday because I seem to be reviewing a lot of these because I like the anesthetics they use. If I use that word properly, if I didn't, oh well, it's too late. Single take. Well, what's so mad about Mad Town and Nut Brown? Well, apparently, our Nut Brown Ale is a velvety smooth with a rich caramel aroma. Nothing like a good caramel flavor. We blend seven different malts for a creamy finish. You'll dig. Mad Town Nut Brown is brewed with passion and is best enjoyed that way. I think, do they say that with every single brew they do? That seems to be like the last thing I remember reviewing saying that from Asylum. So yeah, I guess, I guess you can't enjoy this if you don't have any passion for beer. That's a shame. Well, let's get down to it, shall we? Wow, that's like no head at all. I tried to. Hmm. Nice dark brown. It's not really an amberish yet. Yeah. Not really smelling any hops, but yet a lot of the barley. Nice caramel. Hmm. There's a bit of a stoutiness to it. A little bitter. But definitely not a not a hoppiness much. Slight coffee-ish aftertaste. Still got a lot to learn about this. Guys and gals, it's not too strong. But got a little bit more kick than the lagers and pilsners that you might be used to. So if you want to get something a little bit different, but not a punch to your face, if you don't like. Too hoppy, too much of a hoppiness. This might be a good thing to try. If you're ever in Wisconsin, give a Mad Town Nut Brown a shot or a bottle. Well, that'll wrap up this one, and I will see all of you in the next one. Take care, all of you.